second down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Two yards to go, second down. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. But well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, with that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. A throw over the middle taken in, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Ten yards there and a Bengal first. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, He's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. fake to mix it and now look to throw he finds his man complete that's Hudson and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business yeah 230 240 range yeah not not super huge maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days but you can flex him out you can run wide receiver routes with him you can make him a primary target and that's how he'll shred the defense and he'll be brought down it looks like right at the 40. they'll get three as the drive continues it's a first down second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble isn't it open up the playbook go play action toss that bad boy deep but in this situation Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. throw he's gonna let this go back of the end zone and oh that one gonna wind up incomplete nearly an interception in the end zone probably should have been third down coming up you get a sense of what this game plan might be they think they can take a few home run shots against this defense they tried it there on the opening drive but that falls incomplete Play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Here's Burrow. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. And boy, he is very close to a first down. But from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Every coach we ever talk to says to his team before the game, Quick start, guys. Let's get out of the gate fast. <laughs> How about that? They took his lesson to heart, didn't they? They did exactly that. A nice diving catch here on the game's opening drive. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They run for it with Nixon. 
And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. So they get the conversion on fourth, and now from the 25, they operate with a first and 10. Burrow on play action. Flushed out right. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Mixon running right. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 16. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. How about this opening drive? Play number 12 now. This is third down. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second, and finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chopping at the bit just to get the football. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. To the touchdown McPherson on to kick this one away here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone a solid return pretty good field position they'll start at the 32 Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at about the 32 They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He lost nine there. That's really going to set him back for second down. These guys off the edge are already tough to contain when they're protecting a stationary target. Asking them to hold their blocks when a runner is struggling to find a lane, often an impossible task. Regardless of the outcome on the scoreboard, that will be one of this game's biggest stops. Throwing on second and long. Goff. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Battle. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. 
We thought this defense would be opportunistic, and they were. Here, you're already up. Now you got a two-touchdown lead. I tell you, going out there on defense, did they have a little bit of extra momentum with a score already on the board? Oh, without a doubt. That already felt good to them. They took it and used it and obviously put up another one. But here's the thing now. Some defense coordinators might want to pull their guys back a little bit because they don't want them to make mistakes because they're too over -amp. Others say, I've got two touchdown lead. Go get them, guys. They'll be even more aggressive. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Goff now looks to throw. And he wants Reynolds way downfield. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Detroit. Josh Reynolds, 68 yards. And the Lions are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What, 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant... That thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's it's not 88 now at the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Bengals drive about to get going. They're starting to pull away with this one. Early on that first quarter, they didn't look so great offensively. What has changed? Sometimes it's just a matter of doing what you plan to do better. Sometimes you just put that all together and you execute. Other times it's just in a simple adjustment in your game plan, finding a spot that maybe was a little weaker than maybe you thought, and going to that. So many different things, so many different ways, but right now, you got to like what they're doing. They have put distance between themselves and their opponent. Looking to add on here in the second quarter. First and 10, Joe Burrow looking deep here for Chase. Touchdown, Bengals. Jamar Chase, 45 yards. And the Bengals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. It took them a while to get their speedster involved, but they found him downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches, doesn't have to have volume in order to have a huge impact on the game. His speed scares the heck out of defenses, and other guys can capitalize, but when you finally hit him and he carries it all the way into the end zone, that's what you're paying him for, that big threat that can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch, take it to the house. to the touchdown McPherson on to kick this one away 
Here's Raymond bringing it out. Sheds off the tackle. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Now gone. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Here's gone. This ball nearly intercepted. A once-in-a-season chance for the big fella, but he couldn't corral it. Fourth down, straight ahead. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, gone. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Now Burrow on first down. That's taken in by Higgins. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Throw left side complete to Chase. Touchdown! Jamar Chase on the touchdown throw from Joe Burrow. And the Bengals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. football to start the second half and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports here's Raymond bringing it out and not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12 yard line in this position trying to get back into the game teams are looking for a spark from their special teams 
That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. On first down, gone. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Second and one now from the 21. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Gone. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. So they'll wind up losing seven on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they can put... And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And now, goodness, possession's going to go over right at the 10-yard line. First down. Here's Burrow. It connects quickly to Jamar Chase. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. If you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. They'll run with Hubbard. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. It's a one-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So it takes him just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah. Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And the Bengals have recovered it. I have to admit, I'm scratching my head a little bit here trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Just kick the extra point and be done with it. Number two, if you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go to try and pick up some points. Come on now. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. It got his man complete. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamison Williams, 79 yards. And the Lions are able to cut into that deficit. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead now down to 20. Kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Since the offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and ten. 
breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 76 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. They just look like they're having fun out there. Big lead. There's another big play on the big run. I mean, they can't be stopped. I'm a little bit older than you, as you well know, partner, and you tend to tell me that all the time. But uh, there used to be a big-time song, and the lyric was, summertime and the living is easy. Right now, it's football time, and the running is easy for this crew. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. They're passing here. Joe Burrow looking deep here for Chase. And incomplete on the deep ball. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. So second and ten now here in the third quarter from Detroit. Nixon will try the right side. 20. Down to the 10. And he gets it all the way down to the 3. A big play there for Cincinnati. Give him 42 yards on the ground. So down inside the five yard line, I have to say really just a poor job defensively there. You're exactly right. As a former defensive back, that was not played well at all. But give credit to the offense and give credit to the guy running the football. He gets it down all the way inside the five. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. That's gonna wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. Second and goal from the sixth this time. It's the Bengals in possession of the football and in possession of the lead as well. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bengals are able to add on to that lead. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. A Burrow and the Bengals offense staying put. They'll go for two here. They'll bring a tight end in motion. And Burrow's going to look to throw for it. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. I know we could sit up here and dance around it a little bit. But going for two in this situation, somebody doesn't like someone else. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went, I mean, you, yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this moment. No, no, okay. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Now Goff on first down. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A big pickup of 38. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. From the 50, it's gone. He's airing it out for Williams. And yet again, Goff is intercepted. And the Bengals are going to have it here at their own 15. Well, offensively, Charles, hard to put a silver lining on this one. No secret that they had to take chances with a score where it is, and it leads to a turnover. I love how you paint the picture, partner, because you're exactly right about that one. Look at the empty stairs on that sideline. This is one of those games where you just want to go crawl under a rock until it's over. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead.